school, I know the trap can't fail me. Cooling with a thought in a tally. Smoking on this loud pack, I know you can smell me. Walk in the trap, in the trap, still smelly. Sipping fake lean, it goes straight to your belly. Effin so, guys, so a lot of you guys have been requesting a tutorial on the piece we edit. So, I'll just move it quickly for you guys so you can learn how to edit like this. So, I'll just start right here. At the start, I added my shake. I will leave the preset in the description for you guys. Um, I have it right here. Nothing special. And I have, you can see, I, you can only see the character right here. And I zoomed in on the character. Also basic, very basic. Just scale and zoom it in. So you can see the character. And then right here, the shake ends. Because the beat is here, so like it comes in. The shake on the beat and then here the clip is just zoomed in also have this zoom in effect right here and the scale you guys want it is at 160 then we have a beat check here i added a swoosh some glitch and my beat shake again and it makes this beautiful beat shake glitch effect at the Beats. So yeah, it's just here. Um, then we go here. I have the same beat, glitch effect thing with a swoosh on it. Then right here, I did it again. And then we come over here. This is like the build up, very basic also. I'll also leave the preset for this in the description. Um. It makes it look like this glitchy old TV effect thing. It looks very cool to me. So yeah, and it just keeps on going to the kill. Then this is the sound effect. It's a um, blue pump sound effect, and I added bass and triple, reverb and reverb it again. I also leave this preset in the description. Um, you can also see it right here. So it makes this like echo sound. Oh, me. So right here we have my Y shake on this and then this, this is what you guys have been wanting. So I need to go up here. So you see this is the transition. Um it's displacement map and I just keyframed it. So more and more of the picture would like disappear in pieces and make this really cool transition effect. Um I like it really much, but I don't know about you guys. Um, and then I just uh, this beat here. So this is the next clip. I added another beat check glitch thing on the beat. And then this is also something you guys wanted. The like stretch effect. Also, I also teach you guys this. So it's CC scale wipe. I keep it right here and here. So at the end and like just where I wanted it to start. Um, and you basically take this little wheel and drag this arrow to where you want the stretch to go. So I don't mind to go at 90 degrees right at the right side, you can see it's on the right. And then the stretch thing, you just um, here, set that like 10, which makes the picture stretch to the right. It looks really cool. Then here we have my Y shade again. I also leave the, pre leave the preset for this. Very basic Y shade. Put some blur and stuff. Um, then another glitch here. And I I did the scale, CC scale wire again. So the, the picture is going up now. You can see the arrow is pointing up. That also looks really cool. Um, and it just like fades out here. To the normal clip, then another beat shake glitch, and then my Y shake again. And then this is my CZ Sand inspired and Lotion inspired. Um, it's a lot of things, but I'll read the preset. And this is the post rest time, so this makes the um, whole video it looks 
by Tyler uh, Glitchy and makes this really cool effect. So the picture is moving slower. And like, yeah. So just push this time and frame rate at, at 15. And that is basically this tutorial. I'll leave a lot of the presets in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you.